Uh, hi, Chris Janok here for the 8K Monitor. I'm in the Samsung booth at 2013 CES and looking at their uh, 8K Premier uh, uh, laser uh, short throw projector. Uh, there are 8K projectors out there, of course, but this is the first ultra short throw version. Uh, down here, you may be able to see uh, the unit. Um, this is not going to be the final form factor here, but it does show you um, the, the rough size and scale of it. It's a short, obviously a very short throw distance. Uh, this is based on a DLP chip. It's, a, I believe, a four shifter, so it shifts that 4K image uh, four times to create 8, 8K pixels on screen. Uh, it's very effective when you do this. You cannot see uh, any any artifacts from that pixel shifting technique, so that's really good. Um, eight, uh, sorry, 4,000 lumens brightness uh, on this, which is also very high. Uh, the short throw distance is only uh, 31 millimeters, uh, looks like here. Uh, so... Um, the audio system is also pretty impressive on this. It's got built-in 5.0.2 100-watt uh, system, uh, which includes uh, three front-firing, two side-firing, and two uh, up-firing speakers uh, to support Atmos and their object tracking uh, solution, uh, their OTS. Um, and you can also uh, add some, uh, uh, some uh, side, uh, back speakers uh, as well as subs to create a 7.5, I believe a 7.4.1 sound system. Yep, 7.1.4 uh, solution. Uh, and actually it sounds really good. And the point of this is you can actually, um, uh, once you know the distance uh, of the projector from the screen and the height of the screen from the projector, you can then um, adjust it uh, to be able to have that dialogue come directly from the screen. Uh, maybe we could uh, turn on the audio now, and and uh, there's um, well, you won't be able to really detect that in this uh, in this video, but I can uh, assure you <laughs> that when the dialogue does uh, appear to come from the center of the screen, which is uh, actually quite effective. Great. A uh, couple other features they have in this. Um, this has going to uh, have uh, HDMI 2.1, uh, but it's it's only 60 hertz uh, support right now. Uh, so maybe that'll get better in the in the future. It does have uh, uh, the full TV OS in this, so it has Smart Hub and uh, and a gaming feature. Um, in terms of the the uh, engine, I mentioned it's a DLP engine. It's also three laser, uh, so RGB lasers uh, to create. It should theoretically be able to create almost the entire uh, BT2020 uh, color gamut. That's what three laser systems do in the cinema, although they haven't specified exactly what that color gamut is at this point. This should be available this summer, I believe. Or it's probably in the summer. Uh, pricing has not been announced yet. Uh, I believe, however, it's going to be quite pricey, which may be uh, an issue. Uh, so Chris Chinock here for the 8K Monitor.